Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another episode of Anyone Can Code. In this series of videos, I am going to be making you understand how coding works and anyone even if it's a kid or an adult who has an interest in learning coding so you can just watch this series of videos and you can start coding without any hassle also this is the level 2 video so if you are still not aware of what has been practiced in the previous uh, videos please go and check them out because it is going to be absolutely informational for you and you will be able to understand uh, much better uh, if you follow the previous videos because a lot of concept is reused from them and it becomes a little bit quicker for you to pick up what is being used here right so you don't need to worry uh, just go back to those videos I will add the link in the description or in the i button you can just go and check that out and um, yeah uh, let's find out what we are going to do in this one right so I'm not asking you to have any prior knowledge of coding it is going to be absolutely for anyone who wants to learn uh, so we are going to stick to the mantra anyone can code so even if you have a child who wants to learn coding please make them watch those videos because they are going to definitely enjoy learning all these new new things uh, and also their horizon of thinking will change because i am also going to break those uh, you know uh, uh, concepts that we're going to be implementing so they will be able to grab them much more easier it will become much more easier for them to understand right so let's uh, uh, let's uh, let me just tell you that uh, the uh, the platform that we are going to be using is basically code.org right uh, so i will add the link in the description you will be able to visit that thing uh, that platform through that but if you uh, want to use that platform you need to create an account and uh, what sort of account is going to be created or how what all settings will help you reach the place where will where you will be able to you know start coding that all information is available in my previous videos check them out and you will definitely won't regret right so uh, it will be able you will be able to you know grab things much more easier that is why i keep on emphasizing on watching the previous videos because that is going to be something that is going to be making you know watching these videos much quicker right so let's find out in this one we are going to basically uh doing two tasks on one click right so uh yeah that is something that is new uh in the previous videos we have been performing only one task on a one click but in this one we are going to perform two tasks which one of them is changing the color of the icon and we'll be changing the text right so icons we have not used so far so this is also something new uh, right uh, so you'll be you know understanding how icons are basically used in codes so in this one we are going to change the color of the icon and we'll be changing the text right on one click only right so one button one click and two tasks will be performed so let's find out how that will be done uh, so i'll be having a button which will be giving me uh, the functionality that i want is basically changing the color of the icon and changing the text so in order to do that i need to have a button which is clickable and then uh, we will we'll be having an icon and a text on my screen <clears throat> whose uh, whose color will be changed and the text will be changed right so this is the concept so far that we'll be implementing in this particular video uh, right so let's head back to the platform code.org as you can see we have landed on our uh, you know project uh, i have been using the same project so i haven't changed that thing so if you want to change or create another project for that uh, the information to do that has been also available in my previous videos you can check them out and you'll be able to understand how that is done right so uh, yeah in this one 
uh, uh, now also what all these things are what these tabs are will be much more easier to understand if you've watched my previous videos so uh, uh, you know just uh, starting with the implementation of the concept right so we need to have a button we need we already have a screen because a screen is like a canvas the sheet where we are going to perform various tasks and the result will be displayed to us right <clears throat> so this is basically like a mobile phone for you right so i have a button here already placed right so that is done with the help of a design tag i'll be just picking the button and i'll be placing here so my button will be available there now we need to have a text so in order to do that i need to use the label element now i'll be just picking and uh, placing it here right so i'll be just uh, you know increasing the size of it just giving it a little more space to write because i'll be writing a pretty big uh, text so that it's easier to read and uh, you know just uh, in this part as you know now what id is everything all these things have been explained as well in my previous video so you don't need to worry just go and check them out and you'll be e you'll be able to pick what is being done in this one so i'll be just adding the text that i want so i want um hello so uh, this is the text that i'm going to be adding it right so the initial text will be hello right now i'll be changing the font size so i'll be giving it a 32 right uh, so this is the text size that i want and now i should just place it in between now that is done i need to now place uh, an icon now the icon is similar to an image right so we'll be going in the image part so i'll be just going and placing it here on my mobile phone right so <clears throat> what i need to do is now provide it a, a particular image right so i'll be going and choosing it here so a window will be opening in front of you now in that case uh, you can either upload a file or you can add a link here the image of uh, the link of the image that you want to use right so it'll be it will be just picking up the image through that particular link also the images that you can use is basically gif png and jpg right so these all uh, formats of the images can be used in order to create your code right uh, so but the thing that we are going to be using is basically the images that are available here which are being defined under the icon tab right so what uh, image i should be using i'll be using this house image right so i'll be just clicking on it right and see this has been changed right so uh, yeah so far we have our elements ready now i'll be going back to the code tab right so now i need to make my button clickable so in order to do that i'll be placing the on event uh, piece of code here now why that is being done has also been explained in my previous video so don't you need to worry go and check that out right uh, so <clears throat> now need to just check what is the id of my button now in order to do that just go and uh, you know just place your cursor on uh, uh, the place your mouse like just dance it over the um, button and uh, you will see that uh, the id of the button is button one right it is being displayed in there right so you need to just uh, go uh, you know and just uh, make the button clickable by providing the id now whatever elements are available on my mobile phone all those ids have been given to me in the suggestion right so the element that i need to make clickable is basically the button right so the idea of the button is button one as you already know clickable click is the function that we are going to be performing right so i need to now change the color of the uh, icon right so uh, in order to change the color we need to set its property right because property is something that is an adjacent information about a particular element right uh, so add on information uh, it is so i'm just going to place this piece of code here 
right uh, so now i need to change the color of the image or the icon so the id for it is basically image one if you want to you know cross verify so here this is as you can see as you danced over it you will be seeing that the id uh, is basically image one right so i'll just go and add image one here and i need to change the icon color right so I'll be changing the icon color and I'll be just sticking to red for now. I'll not be changing, uh, giving it any RGB or any further color codes. For now, I'll be just sticking to what color has been given already. So it is red, right? So now I need to change the text, right? So in order to do that, I'll just, uh, I just need to change the text. So in order to do that, the function that is used is basically set text. So I'll be just going and placing it inside this, right? So the in order to change the text, the ID of this particular label is basically label one, right? So this is the text that I'll be changing, right? So as you can see, it is label one. So I'll be just mentioning the ID here. Right. So label one is the ID and the text that I should be changing it to is basically, hey, how are you? Okay. So this is like answering a phone call. Right. So as I press the button, uh, both the things will be done. The change of icon will be happening and the change of text will be happening so i'm done with the code here uh, this is the piece of code that i have reached so far i'll be just running it and uh, checking if it works or not right so let's do it now i'll be pressing run now i'll be just pressing the button as you can see uh, hey how are you is here now why is this happening right so the text has been cut so you don't need to worry why is that happening uh, the change of the icon has already happened so that is working now the text has also changed but it's got cut so we need to provide it a little more space here right uh, so i'll just go to the design tab and just give it a little more space uh, right so make it a little more wider so that whatever changes i've uh, you know will be coming in future will be able to fit in here right so just go and give it as much space as you can just put it here right so i have given it enough space now now i'll be running and checking if it works or not as you can see hey how are you is now readable and visible right so earlier it was hidden because there was not much space so that is another con concept that you have learned here so the color uh, of the icon has also changed and the text has also changed uh, and you have successfully implemented the code right uh, so let me know how did you like this piece of code and whether you enjoyed it or not comment down and let me know how you uh, you know uh, what all experiments you did on your part and what do you have suggestions for me to you know try it in my coming videos and what should i improve in my previous videos and coming videos right so let me know what all added information you want me to give you right uh, so yeah if you uh, enjoyed this video like uh, and share it with as many people as you can and subscribe to this channel so that as soon as I upload my video, you're able to watch it and uh, stick with me because I'm going to bring some amazing content in this series because and you will be just uh, able to, you know, get your uh, grip much more tighter on coding because yes, it is going to be absolutely easy to learn and understand, right? So, yeah that's all from my side this time uh thank you so much bye bye